Hey guys, I'm back with some easy, delicious and healthy lunch ideas. My kids absolutely love them and they are their favorite. So without any further ado, let's get started. So we're going to start with the cream cheese sandwich. This is super easy to make. Few ingredients needed. As you can see, I'm using a whipped plain cream cheese spread. And to that one I am adding some ketchup and I'm adding some some milk we're gonna mix it together until the separatable uh, consistency can use any your choice of bread so we're gonna go ahead and spread it out now you are not going to put a lot of it but just enough for the sandwich and now we are going to uh, toast it over a low medium heat you can use oil or butter if you want so once you see a nice toasted colors on the both side take it out and do it pieces and there you have it easy simple and delicious now next one we're gonna be making stuffed idli now for this you're gonna need uh, one cup of rava suji one pinch of salt and one cup of yogurt I'm using homemade plain yogurt we're gonna mix it all together well combined and we'll also be using one fourth cup of plain water Mix it all well and put it on the side because the, the suji and rava is uh, always doubling the volume. Now I'm going to take some oil, I'm going to heat it up and to that I added a cumin seeds and mustard seeds and also some curry leaves. Let them splutter until they crackle. I'm going to add a an chopped onion and saute it you don't need to brown it you just want to cook it so adding some chopped cashews these are optional you don't have to use those I just have to have those in, in hand so I use them also adding some um, salt Now I'm going to add some coriander powder, turmeric powder, sambar powder, some red chili and dry mango powder I mix it all well. I use two medium size boiled potatoes and I crush them going to mix those together let this mixture cool down completely 
using some oil into these idli plates. That makes it easier to get the idli out of these plates. I'm taking the same mixture that I mixed it earlier and I'm using some Eno food salt. Mixing it well. And I'm going to spread that to the plates first. Then I'm going to add the potato mixture in the middle. And then we're going to be topping off some of the suji mixture again to cover the potatoes. Now these idlis are ready to go into the pressure cooker. I'm going to let them steam about 5 to 7 minutes. These are super easy and super delicious to eat. My kids love them all the time. So I make them almost once a week or twice a week for them. Moving on to the third one, we're going to be making cheese quesadilla. This is super easy one again and it's also, also healthier for the kids. So I'm using one tortilla and going to spread some cheese over it. Just fold it over half and cook it until it brown and cheese melt and that is it Super easy to make and uh, kids always love this one. This can go with any sauce of your choice. The next one we're going to be making avocado sandwich. This is also very simple but it's very healthy and delicious. So I'm taking some avocado, adding some lemon juice and some salt and pepper. Just combine and mash it very well. I have toasted some bread. And I'm going to spread that mixture over. And I'm placing the other piece on the top of that and there is it. I'm going to cut into pieces and let's plate it. This is super easy and delicious. Takes no time to make this one. Let's move on to the next one. 
which is going to be tomato, cucumber, and avocado sandwich. I'm using the same method with two bread slice of breads and spreading that avocado mixture. To that, I am adding some sliced tomatoes and cucumbers, adding some salt and pepper. You can use any other veggies if you prefer. And that is it. Let's cut into pieces and this is your easy, delicious and healthy one. The next one we're going to be making rice pulao which is going to add also few vegetables. So here I'm using one cup of rice. I'm using basmati rice. I'm using some very thinly sliced ginger, some onions, potatoes, some tomatoes, and green peas. So in a pan, I am going to add some oil and using some cumin seeds. Let them crackle. I'm putting ginger pieces. Just going to saute until the raw taste goes away. Now I'm going to be adding all the vegetables into it. Let them cook for a few seconds. Now I'm adding some salt and also I'm going to add um, garam masala. If you want you can or you can just leave it out. Mix it all well and then add the rice. Now I'm adding some water because I use one cup of rice so I'm going to add two cups of water. Now I'm going to cover it and cook it over low heat until there's no more water left in there. Now this can be served with any um, plain yogurts or raita or dal, sabji, anything you prefer. Hope you enjoy all these uh, recipes and if you are to make these recipes do let me know in the comment below how they turn out and I'd love to have you subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the like button and see you in the next one. Bye bye.